Hey everybody, I'm Blake from Secure Data Recovery. As a mobile recovery engineer, I deal with data loss on iPhones daily. I have more than 10 years of experience in the industry, earning numerous certifications and learning advanced data recovery techniques with specialized software and forensic tools. Over that decade, I've recovered images, videos, audio, documents, text messages, contacts, and more from iPhones and other iOS devices with error codes, failed logic boards, and physical or water damage. In that time, we have repaired and successfully recovered data from thousands of mobile devices. After extracting the data from an iPhone, we transfer the recovered files to an external drive and return them to their owner. But we've noticed there aren't clear instructions for restoring an iPhone with iTunes. So we created this tutorial to help our customers import their backups into iTunes and help those with an existing backup migrate their data to a new iPhone. Either way, it requires having the original data and restoring the data from the iTunes application. This video will explain how to restore an iPhone with an iTunes backup on Windows and Mac OS. We'll start with restoring an iPhone on Windows. First, if needed, connect your external drive with the provided backup to the computer. Next, you need to import the backup to the right folder. On Windows, that means navigating to the mobile sync folder. If you can't find the backup, click Show Hidden Files in Explorer Settings and try again. Copy the backup from the external drive to the mobile sync folder with a string of random letters and numbers. By copying the backup instead of moving it, you reduce the risk of data loss from an unexpected error. After importing the backup into the mobile sync folder, connect your iPhone to the computer and open iTunes. Enter the passcode and press trust this computer. Click the device button in the top left corner of the iTunes application. Wait for the summary page on your iPhone to load. If it doesn't load, click on the summary tab from the menu on the left. Under the backup section, click restore backups and select the relevant backup from the list. If prompted, enter the backup password. Do not immediately disconnect the iPhone from the computer until the device synchronizes with iTunes. When the iPhone finishes synchronizing, disconnect it from the computer and verify that your data was restored. Now let's discuss restoring an iPhone with an iTunes backup on Mac OS. Again, if necessary, begin connecting the external drive and iPhone to your Mac. You may need to enter the passcode and press trust this computer on the iPhone. Open Finder from the dock once everything is connected. Click Go in the horizontal menu, then Go To folder in the drop-down menu. Enter the default folder location as seen here. Copy the provided backup on the external drive to this folder. Once you import the backup, in the Finder app on your Mac, click on your device that appears when you connect your device near the top left of the iTunes window. You'll be taken to a summary page of your phone. Here you'll find a Restore Backup button under the Backups section. Press it. Now you'll be presented with all the backups you have in your system. You can select the backup file that you want to restore. Select the backup you want to store according to the name and date. You might be asked to enter a backup password if you've used the Encrypt Local Backup option. Once everything is set, the restore will start and finish in a few minutes depending on the size of the backup. Don't disconnect your device after it restarts. Wait for it to sync and once it finishes, you can disconnect. If iTunes doesn't restore the iPhone, try a different USB cable or connecting port. Rebooting the iPhone and restarting the computer could also work in some situations. Persistent problems could indicate errors in the backup file, compatibility issues, or software bugs. In most cases, following these steps for importing and restoring an iPhone with iTunes will help move past data loss. As always, remember to regularly back up your important files. For a local backup, this could mean iTunes. You can also store mobile data on a remote server with iCloud. And if you're ever in a tight spot and need to recover lost data, the experts at Secure Data Recovery are ready to resolve your case. Hope this helps.